Hello everyone. So I've wired up the decoder to the diode matrix to the seven segment display and I've put a little test here. Um, so as you can see it's got a lot of wires here. Uh, I, I kind of underestimated how many how many wires this would be and they are actually using these little connectors uh, like I said I was going to do. These little jumpers. These little header header jumpers? I don't know. I can't, I can't remember what they're called. I still can't remember what they're called. Um, but yeah, it's connected using those, and I didn't actually need to solder them. Um, once you've put the... Hold on, let me grab another one of them. Uh, yeah, I haven't got a spare wire to demonstrate here, but once you put the wire in there, because the pin is going that way, you angle it down, so the, the cable is actually held in by the board. Um, it seems to work okay for now. Uh... I've actually ordered a couple of things to have a more permanent solution because I'm currently doing this with this like uh, 24 gauge wire and it's really quite sturdy and thick and you know you move one bit the whole I don't want to move it because it's kind of delicate at the moment you move one thing it's all rigid enough to sort of move the whole thing so I've ordered some 30 gauge wire and something else interesting that I'm gonna experiment with but for now um, I'm just gonna show this working as you can see, it's already on. It's on zero because I've put nothing in here yet. Um, this is the lowest angle I can get my camera at with the uh, stand thing. So let's put this up to one. As you can see, it goes to one. If I use these, it'll be a little easier. Uh, if we put two on there, two, and then three, and get rid of those, and we can put four on there. There we go. Four, then <laughs> so delicate. Five, there we go. And then six and seven. Get all that. Uh eight. And you I don't know if you can notice on here, but some of the LEDs seem a lot brighter than others. And I don't think that's just the angle they're at. I think they are literally brighter. I've, I've looked at some of them at different angles and some of them just seem a lot brighter. It's, it won't matter in the end because I'm going to have like a, I'm going to put like a plastic, that like clear plastic thing on there. It's going to be the same colour as the LEDs, that will diffuse the light a bit. So it won't actually, you won't actually see the individual LEDs, you'll just, just hopefully just see a bar. Anyway, so six, no that was eight, sorry, uh, nine. Then ten, or oh, A, sorry, then it'll be A, B. Then get rid of those and put C in there. C, D, E, and F. There. So, as you can see, this works completely. I'm happy with that. Um, I did actually make a mistake somehow. Like, uh, the board down here, I think it's the second board up, I was actually missing... It wasn't working. Like, two of the digits wasn't, weren't working. Eight and nine. And those are the... Those require the... Uh, the, f the higher, no, the lower bit to be inverted, and that that line wasn't going across the board properly. It wasn't even soldered. That I, because I made this mistake before. I saw the line, and it was missing the like, the piece of wire, and I thought, how the hell did I forget that? I test all these boards. So I think what happened was I tested it, and when I was about to go solder it, something might have distracted me. Like I had to go answer the door or something, and when I came back, I probably just assumed I'd done it. So I completely messed up there. And that was after doing all this. After wiring it all up and testing it. And realising those two digits didn't actually work. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Because like I said, these wires are quite rigid. They don't come apart easily. So yeah. But it's all working now. I soldered that up and it worked first time. I didn't even... Oh, actually, I did test the board after that. But yeah. It all works. Um, a couple notes about this. Like, see lots of these wires, they're actually all the same. Um, they all go to the same line. I could probably do something over here that just connects those identical. Because these are all, all, all identical. Like, this, the left side of this is all the same. The right side of that is all the same. And, uh, wait. Yeah, those are all the same. And even these ones on... No, those are different ones. Yeah, those are all the same. And the power, like the power and ground here, there's... Five of those, because there's a couple here as well. These are power and ground as well. So I was thinking of making a sort of power distribution board. 
Um, like I said, I'm still, I'm still waiting for some boards to come, so I might be able to use some of them. Oh, pardon me. Um, but yeah, that will help, help tidy this up a bit because I can actually have the power separate and just have it all in one place and just have one power line going into my test breadboards because I'll, I'll be using breadboards on and off throughout this whole thing just to make temporary stuff. But yeah, I'm happy with that. I need to find a place for this now. I haven't got room on my desk and I, I'm going to have to move it, but I haven't got a, like a spare flat place to put it. So I'm going to have to buy like a box or something like a tub just to put it in because I don't need it for now. Like I say, I'm working on the the AOU now. So, yeah, I need to get through that. But yeah, that's uh, that's my plans. Um, when well, I'm still, like I say, I, went, I ordered some things to fix all this, this wire management stuff. And when that happens, I'll probably take this out again and redo it all. Um, but yeah, until then... I've got a couple packages, don't worry. Let's try and move that. It's probably not working now. <laughs> well, this literally just came through the post. So let's find out what this is. I think I've got an idea. I think it might be... Actually, I won't bother saying that. I'll just find out. Yeah, it's diodes. <laughs> I thought it was either uh, more transistors or more diodes. So yeah, when I made the diode matrix... Um, well, it's over there. Uh, when I made the diode matrix, it used like just under eighty diodes. So I bought a hundred more. These came straight from China. They're about seventy p to get a hundred from China, and these arrived in oh man, it couldn't have been long, like two, two, three weeks, pretty quick for China. Uh, yeah, some of them, and well, I've got two more here. I don't know, it's a small one. This feels like it's in a box. I have no idea what this is. I'm gonna I'm gonna open this one. Oh ah oh, ha 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 okay. Let me just uh check it back. Yeah, so let me double check these closely. Let me turn the light back on. Yes. So in the previous video, when I unpacked my 1,010K resistors and 1,001K resistors, there was actually 400 1Ks in with the 10K pack. So I actually had 610K resistors and 1,400 1K resistors. So I just messaged I messaged, my, uh, I messaged the seller on eBay and uh, yeah, he sent me 400 10Ks. I think it's 400. I'll check. Each one of these is usually a hundred, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, he sent me five hundred, so an extra one hundred ten k resistors. I'll put a link to the the uh, eBay page in there as well because that's that's quite generous that he gave me an extra hundred there. I'll mention it to him or whoever it is. Yeah, but those are all 10Ks. That's good. So I've got what I finally ordered now. And these, I didn't have to pay for these. He, he sent them out. Um, no no, no extra payments or anything. So yeah, that's that's what those are. They're just making up for the, the ones I lost before. Uh, so yeah. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you later.